So this video will contain one more example of the fundamental theorem of field theory that says that if you have a polynomial with coefficients in some field without a root, then you could extend that field, enlarge it, to a new field, E, that does contain a root. So here's an example. How can I find a field that contains a root of this polynomial over the rationals? Well, the first thing I'd notice is that this polynomial is reducible. Here, we have the polynomial x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 6 can be factored into irreducible components, x squared minus 3 times x squared minus 2. You could verify that each one of these is indeed irreducible. There are a number of ways to do that. You could check, for example, using the rational root theorem that the first polynomial has no roots because such roots would either have to be plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 3. Alternatively, you can use Eisenstein's criterion on the first polynomial with p equals 3, say, and get these are irreducible over q. So I'm going to pick one of them. Let's just say that I picked the first one. And I'm going to let my field E be the ring of polynomials with rational coefficients. But I'm going to mod out by the factor ring. Uh, I'm going to mod out by the ideal generated by this polynomial x squared minus 3. As we saw in the proof of the fundamental theorem of field theory, E contains elements of the form A plus BX, where, oh, plus my ideal, where A and B are rationals. We saw in the proof that since this is a degree 2 polynomial, the elements in the factor ring contain all polynomials of degree less than or equal to 1 plus your ideal. Now, since like x squared plus my ideal is the same as x squared minus 0, and 0 in my, in my ring here, in my field, is the same as x squared minus 3. x squared minus 3 is definitely in the ideal generated by x squared minus 3, so this is like a 0 in my ring. So I can subtract it. If you do the coset operation, you get 3 plus x squared minus 3, the ideal. So what this is saying is that whenever I have an x squared, I could replace it with a 3. So I think x is really the square root of 3. It, it behaves the same way. So thus, using this idea, I could see that my field E is isomorphic to the ring a plus b root 3. So I'm going to take that x and just write root 3 instead, uh, where a and b are rationals. The notation we've had previously for this field is q adjoin root 3. So there's a, a second example of the fundamental theorem of field theory that we've seen so far. I'm going to end this video with a quick and easy definition. Here's a definition. A field extension, a field extension of a field F is simply a field E such that F is contained in E. 
So that's the definition of a field extension. So I would say that this field, Q adjoined root 3, is a field extension of Q. All right, wonderful.